Hello everyone, I am Prasad from Structural Guide. Today we are going to discuss about column failures. Before moving to the discussion, I would like to request you to all to follow our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel. Let's start, start our discussion. What is a column? Column is a structural element that carries a vertical loads from the structure to the foundation. Basically, it's a vertical element. There may be inclined columns also. So, in a structure, we have a slabs, we have beams and columns. The load on the slab will go to the beam, then beam load go to the column, then column load will column will transfer the load to the foundation. So, we are going to discuss today about the column failures. So, if column fails, whole structure or part of structure could fail. Therefore, we have to be very careful in column design because not like other structural elements, column is very important. If beam fails, that particular area will be failed. But if column fails, there, there, there are possibilities of failing part of the structure, whole structure. So we have to we have to be very cautious. Progressive collapse. This is the kind of a collapse that occur when part of the structure or whole structure fails. When key element of a structure like column is failed, the whole structure could fail due to the progressive collapse. As I mentioned previously also, therefore we have to be much aware of the, about the failure methods and designers should do column designs correctly with much care and much attention. Type of column failures, pure compression failure, combined stress failure, buckling failure, shear failure, failure due to the lack of confinement reinforcement, failure due to the construction defects, failure due to the errors in the construction. So let's discuss each of these failure methods in detail. Pure compression failure. When column is subject to the pure compression, there could be chances of failing the columns. When there are no major movements, there won't be any deviation in the stress in the column. The, basically, the uh, stress in the column will be uniform and no deviation, and that is only a axial stress. Now, uh, the, according to BS, now reinforcement instant we, uh, reinforcement we consider at 0 0.0.02. Reinforcement we consider at 0 0.0.0035. So reinforcement yielding occur before rain before it reaches the uh, concrete strain that it failed. Reinforcement can yield and increase its strain. But when when it reaches to the concrete concrete strain that is 0 0.0035, the concrete could fail suddenly. Therefore, we have to be attend on this when we are doing the designs. Now, if reinforcement stress reach earlier, then uh, there will be warnings, there will be crack. So, we, we know there is an issue and we have to take actions. But if the reinforcement stress before, before reinforcement stress reach the HC, concrete, uh, I mean the no. Due, due to the higher area of reinforcement, reinforcement stress may not reinforcement may not yield, but the concrete strain will reach its maximum. In such a situation, column could fail in buck crushing, that is a brittle failure. If the reinforcement concrete strain reaches first max its maximum value, column will fail. Then combined stress failure, that's also kind of a failure that as discussed I previously. Uh, when when there are bending moment, the stress in the section will be will not be uniform. There will be a variation in stress. But the failure criteria is same as the previous one. When the reinforcement uh, won't yield and the concrete reaches maximum stress, this kind of failure could occur. Buckling failure. As we all know, what's buckling is now when when loads applied to the column also it's buckled. 
so we provide the links to control buckle the prime import or one of the most important tasks of the providing links in the column to control the buckling of curve in addition we provide the links to control the shear that we, that we discuss in under the shear failures but uh, the two important thing here we have to, we, we we want to know is we provide links to control buckling and to carry the lateral loads now if if column is too tall we have to consider its slenderness when when column is slender uh, that has to be taken into account during the designs so the effective height of the column based on the boundary condition has to be considered in the design if we have considered it if we consider it wrong manner there will be a issue so we can we can avoid buckling failures if if we consider the column height boundary conditions correctly shear failures as i mentioned previously the also the column subject to lateral loads especially when there when there are no lateral load resisting elements main lateral load lateral load resisting element is the shear wall if structure doesn't have a shear walls then the lateral load has to be transferred to the foundation through the columns therefore we have to provide the shear links to the column to carry these lateral loads when earthquake load bar bar load earth pressure load will apply lateral load on the structure so we have to design structure for those loads so we have to provide the shear links to control these lateral loads with that we can avoid the shear failures of the columns failure due to the lack of confinement reinforcement this is basically a kind of a failure occurring in earth loads or cyclic loading when cyclic loading are applied when earthquake occur uh, the structure is subject to cyclic loading but we uh, create a vertical movements uh, reciprocal movement vertical and uh, vertical and uh, uh, horizontal movement then uh, horizontally it move either directions uh, then with that there will be a cyclic loading you can see in this figure there will be this pattern of cyclic loading uh, the, this will uh, go either way in such a situations uh, the column reinforcement need to be confined now we provide shear links to confine so this column you can see here we have provide the uh, links to the, all the all the reinforcement this reinforcement is also confined this reinforcement is also confined then the column reinforcement is protected then uh, when confinement is there there won't be confinement failures so this kind of failures occurs due to the lack of uh, reinforcement in cyclic loading beam column joint or sub, uh, close to the joint the structure element could fail therefore we provide the higher links higher number of links in course of the support that has to be done according to the linear standard standard there are standards so that uh, using those standard we can enhance the column uh, reinforcement confinement Uh, detailing the main thing that we could avoid the confinement failures failure due to the construction defects construction defects are unavoidable but we have to avoid the major defects if there are major defects then the structure could fail improper treatment of honeycombs unclear unclean column heads now when when you when you do the construction of columns we uh, we do the col construction of column up to the floor level then we do the form work and uh, reinforcement work and pour the concrete during this work we have to clean the column head proper if if not the uh, foreign material will be collected on the on the top of the columns then when you pour the concrete on the top of that there will be a separation this uh, foreign material will create separation between the new concrete and old concrete that could result in failures of the column because it's the column will be connected by only by with the reinforcement therefore we have to be careful about the cleaning then poor compaction of concrete it's also kind of thing that could fail in the in the in in the in the column so i mean uh, the strength may be not that much we expected because poor compaction reduces strength of the column concrete 
and cavity cavities inside the column also one of the other reason that could lead to a column failure because uh, if we if we have a heavily congested rain pot especially being column joint if we have a heavily congested congestion in the rain post heavy congestion in the rain postman there there may be internal cavities that are not properly concreted that are not properly compacted therefore we have to be very careful on those occasions failure due to errors in the construction mistakes due to the bad eye mistakes mistakenly uh, used uh, reduce the bad diameter or oh, we use incorrect bar diameter then this kind of things structure capacity may be reduced use incorrect column location now for example now if you have to put the four numbers of 20 bars in a particular column we mistakenly put four numbers of 20 bars then structural capacity will reduce and the the for the column that we need need to build with four numbers of 20 bars have built in a separate location then there will be issue so changes in the concrete grade that also kind of a error mistakenly we may put a lower grade concrete in the column lack of strength in the concrete uh, due to the issues in the batch implant or due to the issue in the mix design or due to the issue in the mixing process there may be lack of reduction lack of reduction in strength that also could lead to failure collapse these are the things we want to discuss under the column design so i think we have discussed useful stuff today so we request you to follow our youtube channel structural guide thank you very much